Hi guys, uh, let's continue to involve uh, on the problem of uh, uh, reinforced learning. So on the previous uh, video I create uh, some simple environment uh, and there I'll be trying to uh, train um, uh, our agent uh, to find uh, the best uh, way uh, to solve uh, uh, play games. But uh, yeah, in this case uh, uh, we're going to use uh, environment for trading and you could download this library a gym trading um, but in the future I think we need to develop uh, some something new environment uh, so let's uh, run this Jupyter notebook and this Jupyter notebook uh, exists uh, um, on the folder uh, reinforced learning and trading dot uh, uh, book uh, on the on my repository of reinforced learning. So if you download, uh, uh, if you run this uh, file, you download the data from the Binance. For example, I would like to uh, uh, to download data uh, from uh, 2020, and then we we store this data on the folder uh, data. You see. On the pickle format, um, but uh, I already done this one and uh, I just need to run the cell. Okay, uh, so we have uh, how many lane? Okay, count uh, is more than, uh, more than uh, 32,000 uh, rows. Okay, and then I would like to create uh, some simple environment for this problem to explain what we should uh, solve. So this, is, uh, this one would be some simple feature and for example we're going to use uh, volume and price for open and close and then we need to, to uh, transform this data uh, on the integer format uh, it would be category uh, volume and then uh, we need to um, add this feature uh, to our uh, environment. Uh, let's create it. It would be trading uh, environment, uh, main Bitcoin, HDT, um, is data frame and position, um, the uh, buy, sell and hold, and it would be something fees. Okay, and this is if you run a receipt, uh, you get uh, a dictionary, uh, would be title uh, of the dictionary and you could uh, uh, do some review of what really we have there. Okay, so firstly what we need to do uh, is create some uh, policy yeah? and we've already done this function it would be initialize uh, policy okay let's uh, delete this one okay I need to create uh, environment okay data feature environment receipt I create this uh, policy um, for an example I take uh, last uh, 2000 rows for the number of states of our feature, yeah? I mean this one, number of states each hours. And number of action would be free, buy, sell or hold. Let's create some policy. It would be uh, policy and this one is probability. See, this, this is the uh, same probability, uh, 33% for each actions. And then we need to um, rewrite uh, this policy uh, to define uh, some probability for each state. Uh, this function uh, generates session and for example we run uh, 200 uh, session and create uh, actions, some actions, it would be some random actions and using this uh, uh, function we uh, create um, uh, 
uh, we create uh, uh, some um, experience yeah for example like this one yeah to be some experience okay I see policy we're not using this one let's the latest is this one it's not important okay and then let's uh, generate uh, 200 session in, inside in this session we define uh, some experience okay I delete policy let's wait it means uh, during a loop uh, of uh, this uh, 2000 uh, states uh, we go for 200 times and generate uh, some experience and after generate this experience uh, we need to take uh, some the best uh, uh, the best uh, rewards from there for example yeah it takes some times that's waiting but in general it should be like this one here yeah? with some middle and this uh, red line will be our percentile and there uh, we can take uh, the best experience from uh, right of the side okay let's load again okay and very interesting would be in the future in this uh, uh, new method we need to select uh, the best experience I mean uh, here yeah, from uh, right of uh, this red line and then we run a loop and we need to uh, take uh, the best uh, rewards of this uh, threshold yeah? for example reward threshold uh, we defined our person kill and we will take uh, uh, what is uh, the best rewards would be for us and then uh, we need to generate some new policy and compare of the previous an example I mean from the previous video we need to uh, change this function uh, let's explain so we create a new policy also new action it would be a uh, new matrix and then um, uh, we need to take uh, action and uh, states inside in this loops inside in this lead states yeah because uh, we need to generate some random experience and from this random experience uh, we need to take uh, um, elite states and elite actions and then uh, for example each of our states would be uh, would be one role only one role let's looking from this one I mean for example future value future open and future close this one yeah and also price for example open low and uh, it would be only for one hours yeah uh, without any window because uh, we're going to create some simple an example and we go step by step uh, to create uh, uh, to create uh, more clever algorithm okay so solid uh, let's do this one and it means uh, you see our states and we should to uh, create uh, some hash of these uh, states a, and then we need to loop inside in these uh, states and calculate uh, count of actions when our rewards uh, um, would be uh, profitable for us and then uh, we need to, uh, to create some normalization of this function so the main idea there it would be create some hash um, of those uh, exp uh, uh, feature it would be something very simple it means 
we, we, we take only uh, feature with uh, these parameters, yeah? what, uh, what uh, the same. And then, uh, when we, let's create this, it will be this function uh, to show progress, and then we need to run uh, some number of session to take uh, this elite states, and then uh, we calculate our profit. Mm, okay, 200 session would be, uh, it takes too many times, and here, uh, you see, it's uh, our rewards would be not increased all times, it's some random noise, but in general, our mean rewards would be there, but when we will take uh, our the best uh, elite, uh, rewards, our strategy would be profitable, yeah? For example, um, I create 98% uh, uh, yield. Let's run this one. Okay, what, what is it? I suggest I need to delete something. One second. Okay. Ah, it's not defined. Okay, I need to run this function. Okay. Let's wait. Okay. Uh, so let's wait in. Okay. And you see, uh, this is our, uh, uh, we collect some experience there. And each time uh, we take uh, the best uh, rewards. And it would be our, this is our policy, yeah, it's some rules. Instead of hard coding uh, uh, to create uh, rules, for example, RCI, uh, less than 30 or more than 80. Um, we can use uh, some poly uh, tricks with the policy. Okay. I think it's working something not correct. Um, number of session, one second. Okay, because it's, um, we need to generate more session and decrease number of uh, loop. Let's stay uh, around 10. Yeah, because we need to, to generate uh, more, more experience uh, to create uh, more profitable uh, states. This is, for example, we generate 200 session. And inside in this 200 session, uh, we will take um, the best uh, states. Let's wait and take some time. Um, okay, let's wait, but before I'm going to explain something else. Uh, so the main idea there would be how to define policy. Yep. And we define this uh, policy using our hash map function. Where is this hash? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean this one. But Instead of uh, this hash, it means uh, uh, we, we are going to trade only we have uh, the same rules, yeah? But instead, instead of this one, we can create some function that would be uh, similar, yeah? And, uh, for example, we can solve this problem using clusterization algorithm, something like that. But in general, yeah, 
so it takes more time uh, and you generate uh, would be more profitable you see threshold more than eight percent so in, in uh, inside uh, in our some features we, uh, we have those feature would uh, pro provide for us some good results the another problem would be of overfitting we don't know it would be uh, overfitting there or not and we're going to solve this problem in the future and this is a very simple algorithm uh, without uh, a neural network it's only a policy okay let's wait in next point and this uh, plot uh, built for us uh, some line it would be yeah yeah like this one you see this mean rewards it means mean rewards uh, what is mean uh, if you are going to trade uh, uh, without a policy yeah? it's like run random action but our policy provide for us uh, uh, some rules mm. and using these rules uh, uh, we could achieve five percent of profit yeah and uh, advantages uh, would be we don't need to wait uh, I don't know for example four hours uh, to achieve uh, the best results it would be especially the same maybe to tuning uh, this one you could improve a number of session generate number of session and there maybe would be more profitable results here because you generate more experience uh, but it not make sense uh, to run it uh, 10,000 times something like that okay let's stop and uh, we're going to solve problem of reinforced learning step by step and you should you should to think about environment and about uh, policy it would be a key uh, to understand uh, what is reinforced learning okay guys thank you thank you and see you next time